The question today is on matrices and transformations and the question reads and I shear with x axis invariant a square with vertices a10, b30, c32 and d12 is mapped onto a parallelogram with vertices as shown a prime 10, b prime 30, c prime 72, d prime 52. Find the shear matrix. So first of all, we need to note that for a shear with x axis invariant, we will have the matrix representing it as 1, 0, k, 1, where k is the shear factor. So for us to get the matrix, we need to know the value of k and then we substitute it in the matrix. So what we're simply going to do, we are going to say, that the shear factor k is obtained as so looking at the points there are points that do not change so for a it remains one zero b also three zero and when it comes to c we have three two being mapped onto seven two then you also have d 1, 2 being mapped onto 5, 2. So we are going to get the shear factor by simply looking at the point C and C prime. We can also use D and D prime. So considering C and C prime, remember when it is shear with x axis invariant, then that means the shear is happening parallel to the x axis. That is, we have the x values changing as the y remains constant. So we'll have 7 minus 3. So that is the displacement parallel to the x axis. And then there's no change in the y direction. So we have just 2. So with this, we'll be able to get the shear factor. So k is equal to 4 over 2 and that is 2 and then coming to substitute it here then the shear matrix simply becomes 1 2 0 1 alternatively we can have the shear matrix that is 1 k 0 1 Pre multiplying the object points so we can use C or D so for this case let's use C so we have the coordinates of C as 3 2 and when it multiplies this we get C primes 7 2 so when we multiply we are going to get here this is 3 plus 2k and then 0 by 3 0 1 by 2 is 2 adding we get 2 so this should be equivalent to the right hand side 7 2 so we're going to equate the upper part which contains k and that is 3 plus 2k is equal to 7 so 2k is equal to 7 minus 3 and that is 4 which implies k is 2. So substituting this in the matrix representing the shear we will have as before 1, 2, 0, 1. So that is it for this question. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.